This first clip is the day before the rest of the clips in this video. I stopped at Geneva State Park at Geneva on the Lakes and I saw this piece in the water and I just had to take off my shoes and dive in and check it out. Turns out it is part of a toilet, I believe. I left it behind because I thought it was really cool and maybe some other beachcomber would want to have it, but it was too heavy for me to take in our RV. And if you know anything about these porcelain toilet lids, I'd love to hear comments down below. This is the same beach where I found the ceramic toilet lid. I found another big chunky piece of ceramic. I didn't find anything else on this beach because we didn't stay very long, but I feel like it would have been a great place maybe to find some glass if I had had more time that day. met a lady on the beach who came up and told me that this lighthouse here is actually owned by a woman and it's her house so and she lets the public come in one time a year and she thought that I lived there so she was super excited to meet me <laughs> turns out I'm not that exciting in this little segment I was explaining why I didn't feel like filming that day I just wanted to enjoy the beach that day and sort of get my meditation time in on the beach I didn't really feel like filming but then I decided that there really was a lot to show so I did start filming but the audio did not work out because it was way too windy here's what I've found so far today and most of this I found by pulling back the top layer it rained last night so all of the rocks are wet underneath the top layer you can kind of see next to me that it's kind of wet underneath so I think I'm going to set up my Osmo action camera with its protective water guard. I'll show you that. There's my action camera. And maybe I'll just let you beach comb along with me and find things as I find them. And then I found this great stick this morning. It's ergonomically really nice for my hand and for scraping back the top layers. So we'll see how this works. And if not, I apologize for not wanting to film today, but I think we might find some things on our way back up the beach. Best laid plans, I was gonna use my Osmo Action to unearth some of this stuff and realize that I can't tell, it's so sunny and so loud, I can't tell if my camera is filming. So I'm gonna to attempt to do this with my phone and we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if this is gonna work out or not. A lot of the stuff that might look like glass is actually quartz. These are all quartz. Oh, this is cool. So don't freak out if I missed a piece. I like these ones that look like Leland Bluestones. They're slag. This is a piece of pottery right here. Oh, there's a piece. Oh, there's a piece right there. I didn't see that. Be sure to yell if you see something. It's kind of hard to film and pick up stuff at the same time. I love these pieces of quartz. They're just so pretty. 
The reason why I'm focusing on this area down by this lighthouse is because the last time I was here, none of this was even exposed. It probably, where that log is up there is probably where the waves went to. So I figured this isn't super picked over. So I'm gonna keep trying and see what happens. I just stepped right here and in my shoe print was this piece here. This is a zebra mussel. Sometimes it, they look like glass, but not today. Not to me. Oh, there's a little piece of green right there. Teeny tiny. I picked that up anyway. I'm not exclusively looking for glass either. I do like certain types of stones. I like this slag. I want to make a little jar with some of this in it. My little Lake Erie finds. Believe it or not, I spent about five hours on the beach today and I have two separate piles from two separate beaches. This first pile here is from Conneaut Township Park and I picked up a lot of these green rocks. I'm not exactly sure if these are slag. Some sources I've heard said that they're slag, and but it might be a type of rock. I have to look into that. I'll put it in the notes what I think it is, a little bit of quartz, but I thought these these are so green when they're wet that they're really beautiful. So I think I'm gonna do a little jar of those. Um, some little teeny tiny cobalt pieces and a fair amount of just little bits of glass. This pile here was just an hour at Kanya. This pile here is from Headlands Beach State Park and I found some more slag glass. This is a really cool shape for a stone. And this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's super sparkly. So it caught my eye. That was really pretty. And then all these bits and pieces of, of beach glass. So many pieces. And look at that sweet little heart shaped two, actually. Got one, two heart shaped. And then I really love the quartz too. So probably all of this is going to go in a jar, like a little Lake Erie jar, and I'll use it for decoration. But this was super fun, and I would highly recommend if you like going beach glass hunting to check out Lake Erie, because it is very plentiful. Thanks for watching, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. See you on the beach.